Oh yeah. Look, revolutionary anonymous. Secret service were my surveillance like I'm Obama's kids. 16 shots and now they got me on a wiretap. Hey man, what's wrong? I don't know, man. I'm just kind of feeling down, you know, because school's next month. Because it's, it's August, August, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. It's time for our August movie preview. All right, I think we should just get, get right, right into it. it. There's a lot of blockbusters, and we should just get to write what's on the menu. But hey, first, I'm Brandon. And I'm Colin. And this is our summer preview. And we are... Cap Creations. Indeed! So let's, let's get, get right to it. So, what we have to start off this month is on the August 5th. A lot of blockbusters we have to yeah, start off Yeah, a lot of good, good and, and one bad. What? Yeah. Well, let's start well, yeah. well, let's let's start with the good, good ones. ones. Right. Let's, let's start, start off with, the, good with one. Uh, the obvious one that everyone's very excited for, Jared Well making his very much anticipated experience. Debut and, as, uh, as, as a, a Joker. Joker. Um, and Suicide Squad. And Marco Robbie in underwear. There's not a lot of, you know, you guys probably more than likely have seen this one. So You've seen probably every single trailer for it. Everyone's excited for it. Yeah, um, I, I, when we started the year, I, I said it was going to be the best ensemble superhero film of the year. Because it's focusing on the villains. So, um, so if I'm wrong, you guys can crucify me. That's totally fine. Honestly, I'm looking forward to it due to the fact that it's flipping the other side, not telling the hero's tale, but the villains. And I always love a different side of perspective from the bad point of view. And the cast looks great. Jai Courtney looks oh likable. Jai Courtney <laughs> looks likable. Um, Life is crazy, man. But You overall, can't forget your boy, Will Smith. Will Smith is dead shot. Been hearing good things about him. Mm -hmm. And especially Margot Robbie. Yep. Um... And again, Jared Leto, obviously. Car Cara Delevingne is in it as well as the w w Enchantress. I, I think it's Enchantress. I could say this is one of the movies we're most excited for. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe in all of August. Yeah, who knows? Mm -hmm. um, next, we have one of our most anticipated movies, Lil Prince. Oh, yes, Little Prince is getting limited release finally. It was out in 2015 forever. There was a planned release in 2015 for American audiences. But the studios canceled it, and just a couple of weeks ago, we saw a preview for a um, 2016 release. He showed me a trailer for this, and I just fell in love immediately. I have seen this movie already, and they, I've watched a lot of movies. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm really excited. I love this movie so much. It's amazing. It, it has a star-studded cast with people that you wouldn't expect to play very serious roles. Ricky Gervais is in it. James Franco, Paul Rudd, and of course the beautiful, even though you don't see her on screen, Marion Cotillard, who's one of my favorite actresses. Don't forget Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges as the old guy, absolutely god, this movie. Okay, here's the thing. It's animation style, looks like a Pixar movie, but there are certain parts of the movie that just completely just take your breath away. It's, oh my gosh, and the, the, the switch from like 2D to 3D, it's, it's, it's amazing, amazing, man. I've seen it. Go watch it if it's released near you. I know I am. So you guys should do it. Please. Like, you do, do yourself a favor, literally. One of the, honestly, in my opinion, one of the best animation animated movies I've seen in the past decade. Right. It's I so look forward to it. Based off of the story, of course. And you guys should look forward to it, too. Um, look at the preview. Um, next, we have... Uh, you want to talk about the bad one or the good one? Let's go through the goods. The Founder. Starring Michael Keaton and who else? I don't really know. I just know it's Michael Keaton and McDonald's and already I'm sold. Considering that Michael Keaton for the past two years has won Oscars for Award. Best Pictures. Yeah. He's, he's won he's Birdman and he won Spotlight. So you know what? He can do I it. can't. I, there's no way I'm not going to see he's, this. He's a, yeah, he's doing well. So the preview fine. looks great. The whole concept of like, the amazing. biopic thing. It, it looks really good. Keaton looks funny, but he also kind of looks a little bit sadistic. Like, he like kind of how he was in Birdman? I, I guess, but a little more evil. Like, okay. he has, like, he, you know that he's Some in it for himself. Yeah. I think he, um, he looks great in that. So definitely, you know what? The three movies that we've seen, if you can go back to back to back or see them all throughout a weekend, go see all three of these movies. Honestly, I would go, probably go Little Prince... Um, I don't know, man. The I Little can... Prince, Founders, or Founders, and then uh, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, I mainly due to the fact that you have like the transition of an innocent child story, and then oh, you yeah, get some so... of the dark 
dark sides of Keaton, and then you have a completely dark tale with <laughs> that it. shit crazy yeah. movie. Yeah, honestly, I can I can't number it. Just go see all three of them when you have the chance. Seriously, like even if but you have to separate yourself from considering that, that the Little Prince is getting limited released, I would probably just go say, see that one first. Like, but if it's near you, but if it's not, I say just go see Suicide Squad. It's kind of guaranteed. It's also PG thirteen, so it's kind yeah, of guaranteed to be yeah. a good family fun, even though it's not exactly hey, family. Hey, 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 don't bring your kids. Don't don't. Mm. If they're if gonna, they're like if really they're gonna big go super, the route, like, and if they have the well, that's a that's a later video. Yeah, that is a okay, that is a okay. whole video by itself. And now the our favorite thing. movie of all time. So excited. Ten this out of ten. Week, why? So you you know you got. You got a great biopic with the founder. You got a great superhero movie with Suicide Squad. You got one of the best animated movies of, for a while in The Little Prince. And then you have Nine Lives, Kevin Spacey's obligation movie. And Christopher Walken's. This movie isn't going to do well at the box offices whatsoever. Kevin Spacey's a cat. That's the premise. Christopher Walken is a person who can turn people into cats. We just have a feeling he was handed a script and was like, we have to do this movie. Okay, so next week, it's August 12th. You're that looking for is. a movie to see, as always, because right. you like movies. What do we have this week? We got Pete's Dragon, the live action interpretation D Disney rehashing they're using, of their old movies. They're using a CGI dragon, I believe. Yeah. Um, you don't know because you only get a gl in the preview get a glimpse of him going down and then up. Yeah. But I'm, you know what? I'm super excited for this movie. Really? Really. I wouldn't think I would be, but there, you know those movies, like, I was, I got this feeling from this one I hoped I would get from BFG. That magical feeling, like, when you were a kid, it, it just... See, get, I didn't like it as a kid. It did scare you as a kid? Not necessarily, it, it was it's, just... It scared you as a kid. It was just weird. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. And people use a lot of reference of Pete's dragon and marijuana. So no, fun. it's Puff the Magic Dragon. Shit! I got my facts wrong. Anyways, um, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is in this, and I think it's it's Robert Redford, right? Yeah. I think it looks really good. I'm, I'm excited to go see, I will go see this movie, and I will go alone or with whoever wants to come with me because I'm proud of my masculinity. I'm just gonna go cuz. That sounds about right. I, I think it looks like one of the best children's movies that is, are coming out this, this, uh, this summer. That's from my opinion, though. Right. If you um, make your, well, again, again, brief, brief announcement. Opinions. All the, no, no, I no, All the links are in the description below to the previews if you want to see it. Also. Next movie. Um, this is one we're actually really excited for. Uh, probably um, my most anticipated of August. Sausage Party. Sausage Party. Uh, it has been getting rave reviews coming out of, I believe, South by Southwest mm -hmm. as the most hilarious type of comedy since South Park. It's, it looks really funny. It's, if you don't know the premise, again, we'll leave it in a preview, but we'll say it on here, too. Um, it's basically food's perspective at a party or just... They're at a grocery store and all the food's alive and they get, they get bought and then they're all going, they all go home because they don't know what happens after they get bought, obviously, because they haven't gotten bought yet. Mm -hmm. And so they all get out and they're free and stuff like that and then it they figure it out. Into a horror. They figure out that they get eaten, which is obviously not what they want. As Jonah Hill would said in the preview, they're eating children fucking children man so the main sausage Seth Rogen has to go and spread the word about what he saw in that kitchen along with Edward Norton as a Jewish Woody Allen bagel um, Kristen know. Wiig as a bun it looks so, so hilarious good. dude uh, it looks crazy funny I'm so excited to see this out of all the movies this week I'm going to see that same for sure. same um, okay for the next movie um, Foster Jenkins. Florence Foster Jenkins, and all I'm going um, to say about this movie, Meryl Streep sings Oscar Bation. Ditto. That's literally all I have to say about this movie. It's, if you're a fan of Meryl Streep, go see the movie, because if you're a fan of Meryl Streep, Oscar Bation 
so much Oscar Nation in this movie. It's just like. <laughs> Anyways, next movie is a movie that is not. There's not even a trailer out there for yet. Oh yeah, this month there's not going to be. A, there there are going to be a couple of movies that don't have trailers yet. So I don't know. I'll try and link like first photos of them. But if I can't, just keep in mind. I'll just put the movie title in the description. Right. Um, Spectral is a Does kind of. It doesn't have a lot to say yeah, about it, but it, it has look, enough. It, it looks does, interesting. It does very look, look interesting. It's like an alien if invasion. You ever, if you ever play Doom, the video game Doom, it looks like that, where aliens are invading a planet, but it's kind of like they're at war. But it's it's very. But whose side are they really on? Hmm. And there's nothing like that in there. I just wanted to say that. Sorry. It guys. said it was a sci-fi war. Film. Mm -hmm. I believe. It, it looks, it looks, it looks, I, you, you can't really say anything because the only thing they've released are first shooting photos. Yeah, it's, it's a very interesting film. We can't base our opinions based only on photos, but, uh, do you know who's in it? No. Neither do I. <laughs> and that's why we can't base it on that, But that's also awesome. There's no, like, big leading stars of this movie. Keep in mind this is limited, so you might not even be able to see it in theaters. So, um... With that being said, next Last movie. up is The Hollers, which is John Krasinski, who was just in what? In January, Michael Bay. 13 hours. I was about to say that. Oh, didn't say it. 13 hours. What? The, the, the Michael Bay action. No, The Soldiers of Benghazi or oh, something oh like that. Anyways, John Krasinski's making his directorial debut where he comes back. Oh, Anna Kendrick's also in it, and you know what? I hated Anna Kendrick until like 2013 because Pitch Perfects and then Into the Woods and I hated Into, Into the, the Woods. Woods so much. I don't even want to talk about the fact that Meryl Streep got a nomination for Into the Woods appalls me. I she doesn't mind. I don't care for her. I think she's washed up and she needs to start doing better movies. That's just my opinion though. I she I heard one film that she's going to be in. I can't remember what it was. Florence Foster Jenkins. No. It's a joke. I'm being sarcastic. Anyways, the haulers, John Krasinski goes back to his hometown and he has to navigate all of his past relationships. Kind of a very simple plot line. He goes back for his mother, who's in some kind of critical condition, I believe. But he has to navigate his the waters and like manage all of his stuff that he left behind in his dysfunctional, chaotic environment. Starring Rob Shea. Starring Rob Shea every time. Um, but yeah, if it looks interesting. It has a 55% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, so not great, but again, it's above average. My general rule for movies, unless they're new movies and I have to go see them, is um, above above 50% is good. That's, that's what I like to view. But anyways, so that's it for this week. But next week, hold something different. You good? <laughs> Right. So this week, Ben-Hur, they remade a classic movie that had no need to be remade. It looks terrible. Morgan Freeman has dreadlocks. I hate that this movie is in existence. I want it to die. It looks terrible. Why would they do that to a classic? He doesn't like this movie. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Tell them don't watch it. Don't watch it. Tell them really don't watch don't it. Don't really watch it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Help okay. me up, help me up. Okay. Ah! But next up is a movie that you should definitely go see called War, War Dogs. Dogs. We're both really excited for this. It looks hilarious. Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. Miles Teller has been on a roll, except he did those stupid Divergent movies. Never again, Miles Teller. <laughs> Ever again. And Jonah Hill is now known as a very respected actor, you know. We were, we were worried he was going to get caught up in the Judd Apatow phase and Seth Rogen's side chick. Thankfully but he... It looks really good. They're war dogs. They run. They're, they're, they're gun runners and they run the guns um, through like war zones and stuff like that. Right. 
And um, also, every bro in the history of bros should go see this because you and your bro can definitely relate to Jonah Hill and Miles Teller, especially at the end of the preview when they're like, the fucking triangle of death? We run through all triangles of death, including your mother's. It just looks so funny. Definitely go see it, please. All right. Now, with that being said, next movie, The Space Between Us. Uh, the Space Between Us, I am a really big fan of Asa Butterfield. He has done, I, I feel like the Ender Ga Ender's Game was really underrated with Harrison Ford in him. Mm -hmm. He plays the main character in that. Also, Moises Arias is in that, and Moises Arias looks like a crackhead now. If you look up Moises Arias, that's just a little tidbit. Um, it's about him, and I believe Britt Robertson. I believe that's who it is. And um, he's born on Mars, and he's never been to Earth. And then so he finds his way to Earth, and he experiences all these earthly things right. for the first time. But his body's weak. He might die. He takes the risk. What will happen? Yeah. It looks like an interesting sci-fi concept that literally has never been done before. I don't think I've ever seen this been done before. Sci-fi slash drama. Yeah, but dude, have you ever seen this done before? No. Because not. like, like a, a person, but it's an actual person, so I'm alien coming to Earth. It's, it's been like, born there, and it's all that jazz. It's futuristic. I'm excited to go see that. Um, probably. Do you think it's like a fish out water tale? Done. Ish, really ish, but it's a thriller because he could die at any moment. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But, I, I think it looks. I think it looks pretty. Yeah. Pretty it looks dope. interesting. And look. Yeah. It definitely go see it for the. I don't know. What, 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 what is this? They're already. They're already starting to advertise it. So that's awesome. Okay. Now, this one I'm really excited for. I was just freaking fascinated with it because I always love animation and how it's so underrated. Uh, Kumbo and the two strings. Two, two strings. Thank you. Um, Matt Damon is in it. Um, it's basically Makane. yeah, Makane. Um, it's a Japanese. It's a like what is it? Uh, it's Eastern Jap tale, like an Eastern, Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern, Japanese. Japanese. It's, it's something. It's like um, Asian type thing. And what I love about it is it has a very similar animation style mm -hmm. to the Little Prince. Yeah, which we talked about yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah, and that's this story just seems. Um, Kubo, his family has a very unique power to make their stories come to life, which I think is a crazy good idea. Like, it's been used before, but it's never been really used. Like, the Brothers Grimm's well. fucking terrible, but I think it looks really good. The cast is superb. That's a word I haven't used. I'm really proud that I use that instead of fantastic. I think this looks like such a good movie. I'm very excited. So am I. Okay, so the last film, uh, Southside with You. I didn't believe in it, but he made me believe. Um, it's gotten amazing feedback coming out of film festivals. Like, amazing. It's the story of how Barack and Michelle went on their first date. It's been at most of the film festivals, and again, getting amazing reviews. The actor and actress look not, they look kind of similar, but they're really, they you can already, to, They seem to have really good chemistry. And you can already tell that they can act from a two minute preview. That is crazy. It looks, I don't know. The actors seem to do pretty well, and it's... I'm very excited. I, they even throw some shots at Obama and Michelle their way. They were like, there was one scene at the end where she was like, it looked good on your elephant, like, Dumbo, Dumbo ears. ears. Yeah, that was, that was Brandon. Funny. Sorry. <laughs> but... But yeah, it looks good. I'm very excited. Uh, but again, it's in a limited release, so I don't know if you're going to be able to catch it. Hopefully they expand it to Nationwide. That would be awesome. But yeah, that's it for this week. And we'll see you next week. Okay, so this week, uh, G uh, August 29th. August 29th. We have three, three movies. movies. And basically, these are three movies I know nothing about. They have no trailers two, for Two, no, two of them have no trailers for it. And... That there's two that have no trailers that are just very, very obscure. Not obscure. Let's just talk about the first one. The first one is Mechanic Resurrection. Now, Mechanic Resurrection is a film... That's in the Mechanic series. Basically, if you want to go see Jason Statham be a badass, go see the movie. That's really all you have to it. It's another Jason Statham action movie in the Mechanic series, and I'm super excited for it. And I'm not super excited for it. It looks good. It looks all right. It looks like a suitable action movie. Although, the Mechanic series is generally good, but it could be overrun. Like, it could be getting too long. Max Steel is a movie that's literally been in production for ages. Like... 2013. I literally, when I was looking at this movie, I saw a preview of it from 2014, mm -hmm. and that's the last thing I've seen of it. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like a scene of it. 
Um, Max Steel is a story about a young kid who gets... I think it's like, it's either superpowers or he gets like a friendly robot type thing. Oh, I know, it's a friendly robot type thing that helps him out in his everyday life. He's 16 years old. I have no idea anything about else about this movie. I don't know who's playing the roles Do you or know anything who, like what, that. If it what would be amazing if it was a sequel to Real Steel. Or if it was Christopher Walken. What if it was Christopher Walken as the and robot? What it <laughs> <laughs> Just boxing. Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> Anyways, the last one is a movie that I mistook for something else. And then I recently watched a preview of it, and let me tell you, Brandon, this is Don't breathe, amazing. I've seen it. I, it does, uh, this one does... Amazing. Looks amazing. amazing. Oh my Original, god. I was watching amazing. this with, okay, I was in the theater with my girlfriend watching a preview for this, and I just felt terrified every second that trail was on. And I was like, oh, this is really different. She's forced to put it in a certain situation by an asshole guy. Oh, you think he's an asshole? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's obviously not good. No, he's not. But did you, did you know what the premise is? Yeah, the they premise are, is they're they trapped go. inside. No, it's not. They go and try to rob this blind guy. Yeah. It's they a, go and try to rob a blind guy. Who was once a veteran. How is that, how does that make him an asshole? They go to rob a blind, blind guy. guy. That is an and asshole he's, move. Yeah, you said the old man's a blind, the asshole. No, oh, the criminal. Yeah, they're fucking assholes. You're, you see, the what I love about this movie is they're portraying the old guy to be the bad guy. But he's but not. But he's not. He's just defending himself. But he's a he, fucking badass. But is he? He's still a killer, though. But like, if you think about it. If you're in that position, you're as self-defensive as possible. They could kill you at any moment, so you have to kill them first. Oh, and he the, held the gun up you know, at him. Yeah, in the preview, and it's like, don't the, move. One of the best. But scenes, you know, there's something behind. One, yeah. When you, there was a lot of shots when uh, they were shooting behind the old guy, and when he turns around, and his eyes are just gouged yeah. out. Or it's it just a. Ugh. Are you gonna this go is see so it? terrifying. Are you gonna go see it? Maybe it's not like a horror movie. It's very, very thriller esque, it's, but with horror aspects. I might. This might break my horror streak, which is crazy for him because he never watches horror movies. He also has a girlfriend, so that's why he's gonna go see it. Anyways, um, but yeah. I also there's the part in it where he's like, um, the old guy's like, now you're going to see. It. I see. And I literally got shivers down my spine. I was like, oh, God. Is it weird that I every time he said that, I thought of uh, dinner with the schmucks? Dinner with the schmucks? <laughs> <laughs> it's the, old, the black guy, and he was like, you will now see how I see. Yes. It just turns off one light. Yes. And just like... Fun fact, dinner with schmucks. That's a good movie. Or is it dinner for schmucks or dinner with schmucks? Something. I think it's dinner for schmucks. Krill, really underrated movie. Steve really? Krill and Paul Rudd. Uh -huh. Doesn't but, get enough love. But yeah. but yeah, out of all the movies, easily go see Don't Breathe. Easily. It looks like one of the best movies of the summer. Um, it looks like, arguably, in my opinion, the best horror movie kind of tied with Don't Breathe. <laughs> kind of tied with um, Lights Out. So yeah, go see it. So, that's all we got for this week. Uh, or this, this month. month. Uh, this month? It's the end of summer. It's the end of summer. But guess what? We have... Don't you fret. Because three months from now, we will definitely come out with a fall movie preview. Anyways, sorry, we're very mentally challenged um, in ways unexplainable. Anyways. Oh, no, 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 um, video links, links for the trailers in the description, if you could hit the like button, comment, or subscribe to the channel, that would be super duper awesome, again, above Brandon's head is the link to subscribe, so go do that if you'd like, I'm super excited, thank you guys so much, this has been an amazing experience, thank you for so much for the support, and, and, just make remember sure to be safe. And don't forget to take a cab. Ah, <sighs> oh, 
I'm gay.